Okay, one more week has come and gone and this engine is still sitting here not running. So, what I've come to find out here, we've been running all kinds of miscellaneous tests on it. Right now we have all of the injectors pulled out, as you can see, and they're hooked up to the fuel lines. Now, we uh, were not getting fuel out of these injectors at first. I don't know why we weren't. And it seemed like uh, the two middle ones were putting out a little bit of fuel, you know, decent amount. But the one here on each end, they just weren't, weren't hardly putting out anything. As you can see here in this video, you can see the uh, cord board is not getting wet oddly under the two end injectors. So that brings up the question of why aren't we getting fuel? So we sorted, uh, went ahead and pulled the valve cover off and uh, set the camera up and filmed slow motion to see exactly what's going on with the uh, pulse timing to make sure it is pulsing fuel into the cylinders at the correct time. And we found out that it is not. And we believe the injection pump is 180 degrees off from what it needs to be. And uh, I... <laughs> I already pulled this pump off once and uh, rotated the pump 180 degrees with that valve our problem. And either I totally messed that up and it's still off, or it was correct originally and I then got it off by rotating it. So, either way, I don't know if our original problem was uh, the injectors not getting fuel to them. Or what it is. Uh, we bled out all the fuel lines on the other side. There's a fuel filter. It has a bleeder valve on top. We opened that up. We pumped the uh, lever inside of the injection pump and we got the uh, filter bled out. And then we went ahead, loosened up the line here on the back of the injection pump and uh, continued pumping the lever on the fuel pump and we got fuel coming out of the injection pump line. So we thought it was good there, but apparently we were not. Either way, uh, we cranked the engine over and had all these lines loose in the injectors, and they were all pulsing out fuel. Now why, at first, the injectors were not pulsing fuel, I do not know. But it seems to have fixed itself, as you can see in the slow motion video. It is uh, putting out a lot of fuel, and it looks like it's spraying good. It's not all plugged up, which these injectors shouldn't be because these are brand new injectors. I bought these last year, like right before the engine went out. So I guess uh, I want to go ahead, get this fuel pump, or the injection pump, get it pulled off, and we will uh, try to go ahead and... Um, Retime it, just rotate 180 degrees, and see on what that does. Because to be honest, I'm getting close to out of ideas here. Okay, I'm going to pull off all of these steel lines on the injection pump to uh, get it pulled back. Because I have to pull the pump off of the uh, uh, shaft that runs through the pump to the gear that's right in here. But I'm thinking it might be easier... I already dealt with these lines another time, and there's a little tiny washer on both sides of those banjo joints, and the pain nut to get in and out, and that one there on the back side, I don't know how well you can even see that, it is impossible to get to, and I can't get my fat fingers back there. So I'm thinking I got the lines already taken loose, or got the injectors pulled up here, so I'm thinking I might actually take off the exhaust manifold. And then take off the intake line, and then my overflow line, and this thro throttle linkage. If I pull all that stuff off, I should be able to leave my fuel lines and slide this pump back. I hope. So uh, I might just go and just pull this, uh, just pull this manifold off.
Okay, I have everything removed here so I can get the injection pump pulled. Got my uh, thaw linkage pulled, fuel lines here removed off of it. Um, now this radiator hose is going to have to come off. I have to drain the fluid out of the radiator here real quick because there's an inspection plate right there. And I need to take that inspection plate off and uh, have someone hold it onto the gear while I slide the pump off of the uh, gear and shaft. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, I guess, and get this uh, antifreeze drain out of the radiator and um, we'll get the pump pulled off. Okay, I have a line here hooked up to my uh, drain on the radiator and I have that run down to clean the antifreeze jug. So I can save the fluid and get it put back in. I just give this plate a few smacks with the hammer to knock loose the sealant on it. You want to make sure this plate is sealed up because uh, you do have engine oil or stuff coming down these gears. So you do not want to leak or you don't want dirt to leak in. Okay, now these bolts here, or nuts I should say, on the injection pump. They are uh, a real pain to get to. This top one's not bad, but the bottom one on here, it's uh, terribly hard to get a wrench in there. I have some wrenches that are cut off just for these tight areas, and I need to go get one because uh, it'll make things a lot easier. Let's move the camera down here so you can see where this bottom one is at. And you can see right down in there. And it's terribly hard to get a wrench in here because it's not wanting, to, not wanting to fit in there. So I'm going to go ahead and move the camera out of the way and get this bottom bolt taken out. Okay, now the injection pump is completely loose. It's just hanging here by this top nut because I don't want it to fall off before I'm ready. And uh, I'm going to go get some help and... Uh, have someone here hold this uh, gear into here, and um, then I'll get the injection pump slid off. Oh, bucket. I forgot about this. Nice. You couldn't do that twice. Okay. You got your screwdriver? Or we'll just re bleed that. Okay, we got the injection pump timed now properly. Uh, I couldn't really show it when I had it apart because it was in a hurry trying to hold the gear that's in here in place. And uh, I didn't really have much time to film and try to get that done. But um, you can see the dot on the shaft for the pump. And uh, there's a corresponding dot inside the injection pump. I tried to get a picture up, but it's dark enough inside the pump. I couldn't get the camera to focus on it. But uh, that, those two dots are supposed to line up, so that's how you know if your pump is in time. I did not know that when I put this pump in the first time. And that's uh, part of our issues, because our timing is off on the injection pulse. So uh, we have everything back together. We have our injectors still out, and our exhaust manifold is off. I can need to put those back in. Uh, before we go ahead and put the injectors in, I'm probably going to go ahead and... Get the fuel lines bled, and then get the injectors uh, put back in. Hopefully the whole thing's going to run. I don't know what else to do with it. Uh, this is probably going to do here for tonight. It's uh, getting close to dark, and I'm not going to have time to get this finished. 
And uh, I'll probably just stick up what little bit I have filmed here for Saturday's video because I don't have anything else, anything else to put up. I've been spending most all my time trying to get this sorted out so I haven't been able to work on any other content for you. But I guess it's going to do it for now. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, and I will see you next week.